Look at me, I'm spinning. You can't tell I'm spinning. Um, are you getting dizzy from watching this? I'm getting dizzy from spinning, because I'm spinning. You're probably not spinning. I know you're not spinning, but um, from your point of view, it probably just looks like the camera or the background is moving from right to left. But me, I'm spinning. Why am I spinning? I don't even know. But today I'm going to show you how to make your cell poster. So making a cell poster, whoa, we're slowing down. Making a cell poster, it's not as simple as cell posters that you may think it's going to be. We're going to make a cell poster and we're going to make it with a little twist. A little twist, a little spin, a little whoa. Now I'm rocking. We're going to rock this. All right, let's rock. So what are we going to do? You guys are going to make a cell poster. Now if you look around my room, or, 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 you'll see a whole bunch of cell posters around my room, but you guys are going to make a different kind of a cell poster. Um, a couple rules with these cell posters. So here's some ones from the past that people have made. Ooh, nice and pretty. Look at, oh, look at all that. Look at all that pit color, man. These are some good looking cell posters. This is kind of what I'm expecting of you guys. But what you're going to do is you're going to make some cell posters for me. You're going to make one cell poster for me. But it's going to be a little bit more spectacular than what we're able to see. Um, some basic ideas. Number one, you either get to choose between the kind of cell poster you want to make. You can either make an animal cell or you can make a plant cell. Whichever one you want to make, I don't really care. You can make either one. Now, if you choose to do an animal cell, you're going to have to include, obviously, a picture of the cell. But also, you would also have to, or no, if you do an animal cell or a plant cell, you have to include the same things. You have to include a picture of the cell. It's got to be somehow made by you. Um, it's got to either be drawn by you, or colored by you, or painted by you, or whatever. But it can't be a printout. You are not allowed to do a printout of any sort. Um, so you got to make it somehow yourself. Whether you choose to like do cutouts, like sometimes people in the past they've they've cut out little pieces of paper, um, and I'm not spinning anymore, yay! Uh, and then they've just like kind of glued it together. Or if you want to make something in paint, um, you can make it in paint. So go on the computer and log on to Paint, and you can draw it in paint. That's the only kind of printout that that I would allow. So whether you draw it in paint or Illustrator or Photoshop or whatever, it has to be created by you, it cannot be created by somebody else. But you gotta make a picture. The other thing you gotta do is you gotta label each part. So here you can see that this person made the nucleolus and then they have a label coming out of it uh, with a definition. So you have to do three things. You have to make your cell, make it yourself, created by you. You have to label each of the parts of the cell and you have to write a definition for each, okay? Can you use your book definitions? Sure, that's fine. Can you put them in your own words? Even better. Um, but here, there's a rubric that I gave you. It might be on a different colored piece of paper, but use the rubric, all right? The rubric tells you everything you need to know. Information is gonna be found on pages 13 through 19 of your flower book. Um, you can choose either a plant cell or an animal cell. The other thing, it, your posters must be completely flat and two-dimensional. So you'll notice that these are flat, uh, and these ones in the past, they are not very flat. I don't have room for these not-so-flat posters anymore, um, and they don't hang in the hallways very well. So your poster has to be completely and utterly flat, all right? Nothing protruding out of it of any kind. Um, and it, it shouldn't, I mean, it, it should be big. So like, I don't care about like an exact size of your poster paper, whatever, whatever you can find at like Target or wherever you shop. But, uh, but it definitely should be bigger than a, a regular sized piece of paper. Um, other rules, please no glitter. Um, glitter is my enemy, it, it gets all over me. I'm not even kidding and don't even joke around about this, uh, but don't put any glitter on your, on your poster at all because the last thing I need is my room being all glittered up. So don't do that. Don't do it. I don't like it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't glitter my, don't, don't glitter. Don't glitter. Don't do it. I'll start spinning again. Don't do it. Don't glitter. Don't do it. It's not funny. Sometimes people like bring in like 
all Christmas presents and they fill it with glitter and they, they think it's funny and they think they're funny. They're like, oh, I'm gonna be funny. No, it's not funny. Don't do it. I don't like glitter. Don't do it. Don't do it. Just don't do it. All right, uh, please no glitter. So what you're gonna do is to, to do the twist on this little on this little thing, you have to do four things. You gotta make your you gotta make your picture. You gotta label each part. How do you know which parts to label? Uh, look at your rubric, and the rubric has a little checklist of everything that you need to include. Okay, if you are doing an animal cell, then you gotta do all these and all these and the lysosome. If you're doing a plant cell, you gotta do all these and all those and then skip the lysosome and you gotta do the cell wall and the chloroplast and the large vacuole, okay? Use this rubric as a checklist. Take your little pencil and after you draw and write your labels for each little part, you check it off, all right? Check it off and then you're done and that's all you gotta do. That's not all you gotta do. I said you gotta do four things. So thing number one, make your picture. Thing number two, do the label. Thing number three, write down a, or type out, please type, a definition. And thing number four, whoosh, what's this? Oh, it's a QR code. So here's what you're gonna do. You are going to choose any one of these cell parts. I don't care which one you choose. Maybe it's a Golgi complex. Maybe it's a vacuole. Maybe it's a cell membrane. I don't care which one you choose. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna record a video of yourself. Hopefully it's better than this video of me spinning. Or it's better than this video of me saying, don't do it. Don't do it. Um, but you're gonna make a little video of yourself explaining one of these cell parts, all right? After you make your video, you're gonna, you're gonna publish it to YouTube. It shouldn't be very long, it should be like 15, 20 seconds. But just talk about what the cell part is, what it does, what its function is. Um, if, you can, if you can use a model, even better. So uh, what people have done in the past, there's this one kid who she, she made like, she, like I said, don't make it three dimensional, don't make your poster three dimensional, but she built this like big endoplasmic reticulum out of Play-Doh, right? And she kept it at home, she didn't bring it in, but she recorded herself holding up this endoplasmic reticulum and talking about it, and it was actually really cool. Um, and that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna, you're gonna do something. I don't, you don't have to build anything, you don't have to make a model, you don't have to do that. Uh, you can do whatever you want to. So what's going to happen is after you publish your video, so make your video, publish it to YouTube. Um, there's instructions on my website for how to do that. You're going to publish it to YouTube, and then what you're going to do is you are going to make a little QR code of it. So you're going to make a QR code, you're going to print that out, and you're going to attach it to the front of your poster and the bottom right corner. Now what would be nice is if you put your name in the bottom right corner near your QR code, that would be awesome. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hang these out in the hall and one day we'll have a little a little gallery show, right? So I'll let you bring your little telephones to class and we can walk outside and we can look at all the little posters and you can scan them and you can look at other people's videos. Um, it should be neat, maybe we'll do it, maybe we won't, but hopefully that will encourage you guys to actually make a good video. So make a good video, put your face in it, um, talk about something and make it fun and make it creative and make people want to actually watch it, okay? Okay, so let's check this out. Here's my phone. And oh, I got a message, so don't read that. Okay, where are we? I am going to type in QR. I'm gonna pull up my QR reader. And let's, let's watch one of these, let's watch one of these. Oh man, it already worked. Look at that, it's quick like that. Oh look, here's Kush. Oh, it's Kush. Let's press play. It's Kush in a bathing suit. The pool is. Oops. Are we still recording? <laughs> the, the pool is representing the large vacuole. Oh my gosh, he jumped in the pool. That was crazy. So you can do that. That pool is in his house. Uh, you can do things like that. You can be as weird or as creative as you want to be. 
Um, let, should we watch another one? I don't, I don't even know what's going to happen in this one. I should have previewed these beforehand. Let's watch one of these. Oh, not available. Ruh row. Yeah, and you know what? Feel free to delete your video after you, uh, after you, after I grade it, after I grade it, of course. But, but that's the idea. You're going to make a video of you explaining one part of the cell. You are going to upload it to YouTube. Uh, and then talk about it. So talk about your cell part. Here she used her actual poster to talk about it. That's so fine. Whatever you guys want to do. Like. But uh, make it fun, make it creative, because you know what? Your friends are going to watch it, and they don't want to see something boring. They don't. Anyway, there's all kinds of instructions on my website for what to do and how to do this. So what you're going to do is you're going to read all of this. You're going to scroll down. Here's how to make the video. Uh, here's the rubric. If you lost that rubric that, that I gave you in class, look at, go to my website, download it, print it, do it, do it, do it, but don't use glitter. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, so, uh, good luck. Look at your, check, 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 check. Check the homework board, um, check your agenda book. I gave you a due date, check. it's probably even written on your rubric, but uh, make sure you have this in two-dimensionally. Bring it to school, have it, uh, there'll probably be a place over here somewhere. Make sure you put it in the appropriate pile. I think like, you know, your period, there'll be little signs here or here or here or here or here but make sure you put it in the appropriate period pile. Make sure your name is on it, on the front. Make sure your name is on it. Make sure your QR code is in the bottom right hand corner, right down here. You should put your name near the QR code and, and yeah, bring it in on the day it's due. Have fun with it. I want you to have fun. I want, you to, I want them to be cool. I want the videos to be cool. I want your, I want your posters to be better than these, better than these. You can do it. I believe in you. Bye.